On this video, I'm going to show you how to access the files inside your Mawic instance so that you can edit the code. And the purpose of that is so that we can change the branding. Let me show you. So that we can change the Mawic branding to our own. Here on the sidebar, as well as on as well as this logo right here on the login page. Okay, so to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to be using a program called FileZilla. If you're a programmer, you probably already know about it. If you're not, then just Google FileZilla, download it. There's going to be a version for Windows, a version for Mac, a version for Linux. So you can use it regardless of your computer operating system. Okay, so once you have downloaded and opened FileZilla, you're going to have to set it up so that you can access your server. So you go to Edit and Preferences, and then you go to SFTP, and here you have to add your key file. So you have to look for it wherever you have it saved, I know where mine is and make sure sometimes here it sorts them by PEM or PKK or something like that files. So just make sure that it's a PEM file. Okay. So open. Okay. Now you have to add a new side. We're going to make it well. Grounded cafe. This is going to be your own, so don't type this exactly as I am. You can actually name this whatever you want. I just like to name it with the subdomain and domain name of the site that I'm that I'm uh, creating the login for. Okay, seems that like it didn't. Well grounded. Club. It already exists. Okay. Sorry for that. Okay. Okay. I'm just going to delete this so that you can see it. So it's well grounded cafe that RVAP the club. Again, just name it whatever your website is. So here we're going to put the IP address no HTTP so delete that so that's the um, IP address and then change the protocol to SFTP log on type a uh, key file user bitnami if you're using bitnami then it's going to be bitnami if not if you're not using Bitnami, then uh, it's probably going to be EC2. So if you're not using Bitnami, it's probably going to be EC2 user. But we're using Bitnami, so it's Bitnami. Okay, so download, restaurant, and here is the key again. Here's what I was telling you earlier about the PBK files. So here it seems that it's not finding the file, but it's actually because it's just sorting it. So just make sure that whatever operating system doesn't sort by only PPK files. So just look for all files, select your key, and you should be able to connect. Okay. It's gonna ask you if you wanna trust this key, blah, 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 just say okay and it's going to connect actually while you're setting that up i want you to change this so that okay you go directly so let's see what is it so that you go directly to the malwick files right so this is going to be the 
directory that you want to put in if you're using Bitnami. As you can see, it says Bitnami. Otherwise, yours is probably going to be different. If you're not using Bitnami, I'm not going to tell you what the directory is going to be, but it's probably going to be something like bar www.htdocs and then here are going to be your files but we're using binami so we're going to put it like that so connect and what that does is that it's going to connect you straight to that directory Why did it do that? Oh, sorry, I put this in the remote directory. Abort connecting, connecting, connected and sends us straight to this file, okay? So once you're here, what I wanna show you is that if you're using Bitnami, then you're not gonna be able to straight away edit the files because the files are going to be um, let me show you. So we're adding this comment and I'm gonna to try to save the file. I'm going to close the file. It's starting to upload. So let's wait for it to supposedly upload. And I want to show you the error that we're going to get because Bitnami is protecting the files from this username that we're using to connect to the instance. Maybe that sounds a little bit confusing, but I'm going to show you how to actually be able to edit your files. And this only applies if you're using Bitnami. Uh, it's taking, okay, file transfer. Okay, file transferred, but okay. And if we open it again, and yes, this card, the file that has been, was downloaded before, open it again. Huh, so he did save it. Let me see what I'm... I, ha I already had changed this in the past. Oh yes, that's true. That's true. The reason why I was able to modify this file is because I had already done it just a couple of seconds ago. Um, I did this before creating the video, so, so it is already set up to, to be able to modify the files, but what you wanna do but if you try to do this on your own, you're going to see that when you open the file, whatever edit that you made before, it's not going to be saved. It's going to, you're going to be loading the original file. So to be able to load that and to modify your files, what you want to do is navigate to this part of your instance. So let's see. Use this command. Okay. Actually, let's open a new window so that you don't get uh, confused. And we're going to connect to our instance. Again, to connect to your instance, SSH, that um, I, and then you put in your file, drag it, and then bitnami add whatever the IP address is right here copy paste no HTTP okay. we're connected okay so now copy this command and paste it control shift V going to take you to that directory and then just change the permissions with this other command. 